Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I am your Gaming Monk for the evening. This is day 22 of the RPG A Day 2019 challenge. Today's word is lost. For this one, I'd like to expand a bit on the tragedy that is Marvel Heroic Roleplaying. A game that I reviewed and reviewed positively several years ago. See, when it came out, with Margaret Weiss handling it, it seemed very, very promising, because the Cortex engine went from a system that I thought was kind of eh, to one that I started to see its real potential when it rebranded as Cortex Plus, especially with the Smallville and Leverage RPGs. However, they were doing something significantly different to other supers with the Marvel Heroic game. Aside from the fact that they weren't following the Champions model of try of trying to make everything very um, point by ish there was also the fact that they had a unorthodox setup when it came to the books. There was going to be a core book and a premium version of that core book that would reflect on a certain event comic. The first one that they were going to do was Civil War. And along with that, there were three side books. One focusing on the Young Adventures and Runaways, one on the 50 States Initiative, and one on the X-Men. And this was a pattern they had planned on continuing with Annihilation, and later on the Heroic Age, and Age of Ultron, if I recall the original story. It's been a few years. However, Annihilation would never get a physical print. The only thing that we had out of that were the digital version and the war of Ki and the advertisement for war of kings that i would see for months on end on amazon even though the game never act the book never actually came out apparently around that time even though the the game had been out for a little over a year i'd want i'd want to say maybe less and had gathered several awards getting two getting two ennies and an Origins Award when it, came, well, when it came out. But apparently, Marvel decided to pull the plug on the thing entirely. I've never been told an exact reason why this happened. I've gotten conflicting reports on the matter. Some saying it was because the Civil War books didn't sell enough, which, if that's the case, you made a poor choice in going with a book as politically charged and divisive as Civil War... Or the fact that Civil War had already been utilized in Ultimate Alliance 2, so people were already a bit saturated on this kind of thing. There was also the rumor that I heard that there was a change in management higher up on the totem pole, and that one did not have enough faith in the tabletop project. Which, again, this was going to be a niche product no matter what you did, so I'm not entirely sure what they were thinking on that front. I remember a similar story happening when it came to the grand under-tragedy that was John Carter, specifically the film adaptation, and how that got treated simply because of Hollywood politics. Regardless, I always felt that Marvel Heroic deserved a second chance, and while it's managed to keep itself alive through the, through the fan community, I do think that... There needs to be some sort of universal-style superhero RPG using the Cortex Plus system. Now, there's plenty of fan products involving Cortex Plus, so the possibility is there that a fan might end up making it, or has made it and I just haven't found it yet. But I'd like to think that the Firefly um, adaptation of Cortex Plus helped them to bounce back and help to show that, yes, this system and Margaret Weiss Productions is still viable and still has enough things to grow on. For me, the reason why I hype on I harp on this one is because it answered an issue that I've had with a lot of superhero RPGs, wherein there's less incentive to be heroic, for starters, and the other is the fact that you have street-level heroes that are going to need to be on the same level as heroes of higher tiers, Yet, mechanically, in previous games, it's always been very, very difficult to be a high-level, street, high-rank, street-level hero. 
because inevitably you end up being too powerful for that tier. At least with some something like this, having having the strength of say the Hulk isn't a automatic advantage. It's not a win button. It is a double-edged sword, especially since the especially since the dice can act as both result and degree of effect. If you want to know the full details on that, there's a old ass review that's done in the in my original style where I would go chapter by chapter. I don't do that anymore. But I if you can find the thing through PDF traders or if you can find it um in the physical version, I still highly recommend looking at Marvel Heroic. It's certainly an interesting take. It might not satisfy the crunchier end of things, but I consider it a more approachable version rather than something out of, say, Powered by the Apocalypse. <laughs>